In an episode like this, there's truly only one way where we even possibly could end it, even if we tried a thousand times. This is the only way to do it. The longest standing regular in the history of the show. This man can, has been working the last three weekends in right, a row right, of his life, on the road, living the dream. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. Here we go, with a brand new minute. A little bit about me, my girlfriend just broke up with me via text. Very nice. Who's the boyfriend? How long have you guys been dating? Who? You said in your act, you, you said in your act that you had a boyfriend. Is that oh, true? Oh, no, I broke up with him over text today. Oh, it's make-believe. Wait, 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 stop. Very good. You over said text? that you broke up with him over text today? Yeah. No okay. way, why? Let's talk about this. Ooh, uh, Is yeah. he a comedian as well? You should have called him. Yeah, he'll he'll he get was, the text by the yeah. time this comes out. Yeah, he's a, he's a comic. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited to be performing in front of Dash from The Incredibles if he grew up and joined the Aryan Nation. <laughs> I was watching Forensic Files over the weekend and a girl got murdered and they interviewed the mom and family and they were all like, oh, Samantha was going to be the best dentist. She was so smart. And I'm just like, wait, Samantha was going to be a great dentist? It showed her eating chalk and playing in the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese at 17. I thought she was retarded. Okay, I'm still working on that one. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. I got real high with <laughs> her. Shit. <laughs> it is, let's see how this next one goes. <laughs> it has come out that the new monkeypox outbreak spread because an old woman was having sex with people at a music festival in Belgium. Hey, Red Band, I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck your old-ass mom made it all the way to Antwerp. <laughs> Don't smoke PCP and get on eBay. 42 hours later, I had a mixed lot of 50 vintage troll dolls and was enrolled to fight for the Ukrainian army. Don't smoke PCP and go to a music festival in Antwerp. 42 hours later, I had sores all over my body and was frantically trying to find a plan B for Red Band's mom. <laughs> that old bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, man, you know how to make me hard as a rock, William. <laughs> These Red Band's mom's jokes hey. might be the greatest uh, nuclear warfare uh, I've ever Ari, seen. Ari, will you tell him what's up with my mom? His mom gave me herpes. Did she? Yeah. She's such a fucking slut like that. She's giving all kinds of people herpes. Wow. William. This is fucking, you're wild, dude. Did you know that, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Red Band's mom gives fucking everybody herpes. Did you know that, Chris? Uh, Cross? Chris, your name's Chris, right? Yeah, I thought you were saying Chris. Your name's Chris, right? Dude, I feel like a civil war. Your name's case. Chris, right? Yes. I think you were saying Okay, Chris. I was seeing what your fucking name was, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> William is wild. He's a wild beast. I should Look have warned you a little toes. bit more, perhaps. He's got great feet. Yeah, thank you. That's why I wear my fucking flip-flops as much as I can. Don't look at his knees. They're, ah! two, they're two faces. Whoa. He does have actual alien faces. Why does he have ketchup Nika? on his shoes? Yeah. His knees look like Anchor Watt. God, why do I wear shorts tonight? <laughs> oh, oh God. my God. Why do I wear flip-flops tonight? <laughs> it is incredible. Paying tribute to the late, great... <laughs> Hey, can I, can I break in it for a second? That yeah. lady never came back from pooping. Oh, she got mad. Oh, I was embarrassed, so I Oh, no, she's still pooping. These fucking people nowadays, you can't even. I, I was poop-shamed. 
What are some dumbasses taking a shit right now? What yeah. the fuck are they doing? She was wobbling, tripping over people to go take a hot dump, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> she probably <laughs> fucking. I don't know. You know the people that were sitting next to you? You guys all come together? What do you think happened there? What happened? Her boyfriend was pretty drunk. Now, but he left after her, the whole poop incident, right? Or was he... He was already gone. She did go to the shitter. I saw her go to the women's room. I was thinking of... God, get to the point, bitch! Oh, my goodness. (laughs) William, be nice. Be nice. Yo, don't care. God damn! Be nice, William. She has fucking bad baby energy, so you be careful. Get to the point! (laughs) Yo. She's going to try to get you to cash her outside if you keep this up. Yes, and her boyfriend looks like George Zimmerman. Do not fuck with that (laughs) woman. (laughs) He's got no hoodie. He's safe. Shut the fuck up! Oh, my God. Dude. Dude. Van Gogh is going fucking wild right now. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it either, to be honest. <laughs> probably, I probably picked the wrong painter. <laughs> William Montgomery has incredible energy. We he just does have good energy. Four sold-out shows in Salt Lake City you and Whoa, I did this weekend. Wow. It was great. It was a real pleasure. It was so funny when you asked the audience, how many Mormons do we have in the crowd tonight? And nobody made a noise any time. It was just strange. I did. They're it, former it, it, Mormons. It's a, it's a misconception about Mormons. those Mormons. Little did they know that they <laughs> fell right into my trap by not it's clapping. Joke. It's a dad joke. Pretty good one. Thank they you. did. They're, yeah, Mormon people are weird as shit. I... Uh, William, you had fun in Salt Lake City. That was your first time there, correct? Yes, it was. Anything stand out to you about that trip or anything like that? Or? I actually, I don't know if y'all are going to believe this or not, I actually was able to kill three Mormon people. <laughs> Buried them in a fucking shallow grave off the interstate. Now, nice. this, is, this is a new thing. William's been doing it. the road lately, and he comes back and he jokes about murdering people, or it could be okay. serious. It's the, it's the road rage. I like it, dude. Yeah, I literally got in this green Ford Explorer and just fucking went hunting for Mormons. I swear to God, I slammed into four or five of them, but three of them died. It was the most gruesome thing ever. I, half of the time, I was like, what am I doing? It's Utah. How okay, you, I'm still working on that. <laughs> how did you murder the people, William? How did you kill them? Just running into them. Their heads slammed into the... What's going on with your ear? What are you nothing, doing? Nothing. Go ahead. Tell me how you killed them. I was going like 65 miles an hour, and there was a group of them, and I just went right into the middle of the group. (laughs) Is that why your dumbass has been up here this whole (laughs) fucking night? That's my stepdad. Is that why you've been up here this whole fucking night? Somebody get him out of here! (laughs) We don't always have Paul Deemer here on the trombone. And I told him earlier when we were in the green room before the show, I told him, uh, can you do that classic trombone like, and he's like, hell yeah, I can. And I go, if I do this, (laughs) do it. And I realized that we're at the end of the episode and I haven't done it, but I wanted to do it. So he got you you on that one. Well, it was really fucking funny, bitch. (laughs) William, be nice. He's a musician. Stop messing with the artist. He looks like a fucking pussy to me. Oh, shit. Paul, what do you have to say about that? (laughs) That's loud as shit. shit. It got you good. Oh, Oh, William, be nice. Don't touch the artist. Don't touch the trombone. William, don't touch touch his little plunger. Don't talk, don't touch. Just talk, no touch. No William, touch. don't touch his fucking. <laughs> William, you Can't suck that trombone. William, what are you doing over there? William's tickling his nuts. William, no William, touch. over no here. Touch, hey, William. William, guys, no touch. guys, <laughs> stop playing romantic music right now. The band is turning on me, folks. I believe they want to see William and Paul Deemer have all-out sex tonight. <laughs> Just full doggy-style sex, like Miss wow. Texas. God, shut up, dude! <laughs> I hope you get ALS. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. What? You really hope that. 
No, Me too. of course I don't. I do. His hair is getting redder. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, I can't believe he fucking said that. Well, if you do, you do. You'll be funnier. If you do, you do. <laughs> William, if you do, you do. It'd be funnier. Shut up, dude. Dude, are you going to come on me? <laughs> William, you're being <laughs> very... <laughs> oh, he's getting a boner. Look at it. Oh, shit. Dude, dude boner. Look, look at God, boner. stop looking. He's got a boner. He's got a boner! Oh my god. For Stop the... looking! Got... Oh my god, he's hard as a rock, ladies and gentlemen. Stop looking! He's got, he's We've never seen muff. anything he's like this muff. before. It literally is hard as a rock. We... <laughs> this is our first glimpse at the little red machine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I finally found the rope that he strangles people with. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Look at that. There it is. Ooh, baby. there little, it is. Little trombone. I like it. There it is. You like it? Nice khaki woody. You like it? I don't mind. I bet you fucking like it, dude. <laughs> William, what is your deal with Chris? What is what happening? What the fuck is wrong with you? Because I get khaki? bad sometimes. <laughs> That's what it does. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that, Ori? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> William, every week you're a little bit wilder, a little bit more intense. Is there anything else that you want to talk about or plot? I don't know like if that? it is, I don't know if it's related to the deal uh breaking up with uh, uh Kirkland's signature, but I got a recalled thing of fucking peanut butter. I got the email from Costco yesterday and I've been eating that peanut butter. Jeff. So I'm honestly a little worried I've salmonella right Jeff, now. Jeff, you've been eating the, the, the famously uh uh Jif peanut butter has a recall right now. <laughs> if you, you if you get sick you can sue him for a second pot of gold. <laughs> I like that one. That is true. I do like that one. Is it a Lucky Charms joke? It it is weird that you're not the guy that had the bar of gold on him (laughs) today. It seems like that would be you. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm worried that I might have salmonella. I haven't been feeling good. I've been having headaches every day. It's not good. Now, you told me over the weekend, you told me that there was something that you wanted to plug on this show. Uh, There's something that you've been doing for making money on the side. I ha- I do have a new OnlyFans. It's uh, wow. No, I'm kidding. I have a cameo. If anybody needs a cameo, they're only four hundred dollars, so pretty cheap. So hit me up on Cameo. Can people only four hundred bucks? It's pretty. Shut the fuck up, Red Man. Can, I'm trying to plug this cameo. Can thing. people put lipstick on your knees and look, make it look like they talk? You, like they're talking or something? Or like, oh my god, punch it, punch it oh, real Yeah, did your god. knees look like puppets? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I wear shorts tonight? I knew it, it was a true. fucking bad Why do idea. You literally look like sock they puppets. They do. Why do you even stop talking about my knees? Can I hire you for my stop daughter's talking birthday about party? my knees? <laughs> Those I want to hire you for my daughter's birthday party. <laughs> for your daughter's birthday. <laughs> Dude, just fucking dress up your knees like in Kanto, and I'll give you a thousand for bucks. your daughter's birthday it's, party. It's, it's like Total pu- Recall. It's time for Puppet Knees Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Old Puppet Knees does the Puppet Knees dance. It looks like this. Puppet Knees dance. Puppet. There it is. Oh my God! God. <laughs> look at those things. They really look like Jesus Christ. It's I like, mean, those might be the ugliest knees. Can you fully extend? Can you straighten out, William? Yeah, straighten you're, up. you're bending your knees clearly in order to straighten oh, them out. Oh my God! My There's God. people. I'm looking it at people vomiting in the audience oh right now. Yoni, are you getting any of these people throwing up on their own laps? It's like RoboCop without his helmet on. Yoni, zoom in on his knees. Ugh. Yoni, get between, get in there. What's Yoni Look doing? At the, Look at the face on the knees, dude. Yoni, wow. get in on those knees. William, do you have any... Just dip- get in on the fucking knees, you dumbass! <laughs> William... <laughs> oh my god. Keep oh, that well. is frightening. Disgusting. Oh, wow. oh, 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 oh. oh Look it at looks that. like <laughs> it looks like a like a haunted spirit in his knees. <laughs> he lo- <laughs> 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 
looks like it's Larry like King. It's like trying to get out. He looks like that guy in Total Recall. Yes, so he's just trying to come out. I'm never wearing shorts again. What a fucking nightmare this has turned into. Why do you even at, own look them? At, look at the what a nightmare I... this one's turned into. Oh, my God. And look at the, uh, look at the eyes yeah, on God, just eyes. shut up about my knee. Is there it you okay go. if I put eyebrows at, above the eyes never, on your knees? Can I do it? Look at his eyes. That's the mascara. <laughs> Nobody needs this place. I'll sing the blues. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. They look like Hans. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got Hans in your legs. <laughs> <laughs> it is. In honor of the other regulars, he has Hans on one and Michael Lair on the other. There you go. <laughs> Asian, Asian Heritage Month on your knees. <laughs> he's, he's literally Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody! This is William Montgomery. In honor of Memorial Day, if we could all just observe a moment of silence for Red Band's mom. <laughs> she was actually just voted out of the reality television show Naked and Afraid. Red Band, what the fuck was her old ass doing on Naked and Afraid? Hurricane Agatha is currently bearing down on the beaches of Mexico's southern Pacific coast with reckless abandon. Also on a collision course with the beaches of Mexico's southern Pacific coast, Red Band's mom, after getting voted out of the television show, <laughs> naked and afraid. You know that bitch be partying! <laughs> What do Nancy Pelosi's husband and Red Band's mom have in common? They both recently got DUIs in Napa. <laughs> you know that bitch be driving drunk! You know that bitch got a drinking problem! Vladimir Putin's limbs have been shaking uncontrollably and it has come out he has three years left to live due to a rapidly advancing cancer. Wait, he has cancer? I thought he was shaking because he had just listened to Aphex Twin for the first time. Let's give it up for Aphex Twin, y'all! You hear that, Tony? People love Aphex Twin! He's the best! <laughs> okay, that's all I have. Always an, always an interesting ending. Wow. Wow. Absolutely incredible performance. No one knows how to take the energy of this room and uh, utilize it quite like you do. He really went hard on Red Band's mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Most I, people go soft on Red Band's mom. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. Because she's a nasty old bitch, Red Band. That's why people go fucking soft on your mom, dude. We all know that he's just really mad at me because I stole his sponsorship to Kirkland. Oh, that Bullshit. is true. Yeah, what are you doing wearing that fucking yeah. shirt? I well, saw that right I, when I, I walked out here. I have something to announce that I am the new sponsor for Kirkland Signature. So he's been spokesman there. He's the new spokesman. Yeah. I for stole Bullshit. that from Are you, you the reason I lost my sponsorship? Yeah. And, yeah. and why are you still wearing this shirt like a weirdo? <laughs> I told you, these are the only shirts I have now. Yeah, right I know. Then. You wore it last night to the How Joe many of Rogan those show. did they send you? How many of I those? literally have 20 of these shirts. I wear wow. them every day. Oh, my goodness. You're not really the spokesperson. Yes, I now, am. Are you? Yes, I am. No, you you're need not. a power washer? I got a discount. Bullshit. 
You're fucking with me right now. No, Why would you even fucking bring I'm, this up, Red Band? I'm not. They saw it on Kill Tony, and they were like, you know what? We can for the same price, maybe a couple thousand more. We can get Red Band. So they they, they, they reached saw, out. To they me. saw you. They're like, he's losing weight. We want someone that's getting bigger. They went with Red Band. <laughs> Speaking of which, William, I gotta say, your uh, belt is out of control. It is <laughs> wrapping around itself. <laughs> Have you thought about perhaps... William's lost a lot of weight. He was the, literally the heaviest drinker. <laughs> now he's sober. He's almost exclusively only eating soup. I Actually, I did buy this when I was in the depths of my cocaine bending and uh, cocaine bending, cocaine benders, I mean, and drinking a lot. Yeah, but this is the only belt I have, so I have to wear this, and now it's getting too too long, so I've got to figure that one out, so. (laughs) What else is going on with your uh, rapid, rapid weight loss? Have you been to a doctor? Uh, I, yeah, I literally had to go a couple days ago. I have tapeworms. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I was losing a bunch of weight because I was working out and hitting the Stairmaster. No, I've actually had tapeworms the past six months. Oh, my goodness. It's so gross. Yeah, I was seeing these things crawl out of my butt at night. There would literally be these worms in my underwear, and I was... It literally, it took me six months. I think that's why I've been able to lose the weight, though. It's these wow. tapeworms. Oh, my goodness. Red Band has gummy worms if you want. To. <laughs> yeah, and you can buy them on sale right now at Costco. Shut it's the fuck out. up! They fall out of his butt at night too. <laughs> Sometimes they don't digest, digest the whole way, you know. It's... Oh my god! I bet they are just coming out of his fucking gaping asshole <laughs> oh, all wow. night long. <laughs> Thinks Just, your asshole's gaping, Red Band. Well, he's not wrong. With the, <laughs> what? with all the value I get from C- Kirkland Signature. Okay. No, Red Band okay. literally has a gaping asshole. Yeah. That's why if you I guys keep this it. up, Kirkland Signature is literally going to start sending you guys money to not talk about them <laughs> at all. Like, look, just stop. <laughs> Here's a couple hundred bucks. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we do not want to be associated with your show whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have to become the spokesperson again. I literally, I was on the hook for like $500,000. I bought a fucking house, and then it fucking, Where'd it all buy, fell where, through. Where, what part of Austin did you buy a house in? Well, I bought one in San Angelo. They had cheap, uh... <laughs> wow. They have very cheap houses, very cheap real estate, so I bought, yeah, a really nice house in San Angelo. So you built a, you built a castle in San Angelo for $500,000. Yeah, it's a really nice house. If well, you, if you need to you sell do, it, do you do do you do things for five? You ever been to the Target in San Angelo? Uh, no, I've not. I prefer the Walmart. It seems like Walmart is a much better shopping experience. So it's kind of <laughs> weird. Are you trying to fucking talk shit about Walmart? What the fuck are you talking about, Target? Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but William goes to Walmart and has a Tom Segura tattoo. So he's living a whole different kind of life than you. I have a giant one on my back. It's actually very embarrassing. It's when I was bending on cocaine. Why did I say bending earlier? It seemed like... God, shut up, dude! Somebody get this guy out of here. So I get this faggot out of here. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. I forgot how powerful that word is there. Usually you're getting choked, Tony. You don't. I... <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, you guys like that one? <laughs> Jesus Christ, sir. <laughs> Relax. That's my boy. Oh my God. I'm from Kirkland. <laughs> All right. He's Jeez. not from Kirkland. Why he would you say Kirk- that? You're not from Kirkland, are you? God, shut up! So, William, let's talk about it. What else is going on in the world? You opened up for Joe Rogan last night. I was out of town for the first time in forever. Uh, what, during one of his shows, I was... It was fun. Yep. And they had a little crab oil here, here afterwards, and the uh, crawfish smelled weird. Ah, did it smell like crawfish, perhaps? 
I don't know. It just sounded weird, and now I'm rethinking of even bringing that up. Is Why that are you true? fucking winking at me, sir? What are you doing? Oh, he's trying to get you to initiate the famous William Montgomery wink that we've seen before. Oh, is he doing it? Oh. <laughs> we've seen this before, folks. Redman, you're fucking up that stupid noise. I'm not blinking that much. I'm not winking that much. You know what? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. How exciting. William, we're thinking about, you know, my mom uh, famously performed on the, um, was that the five-year anniversary or the, no, it was the episode 500 that my mom performed on in the main room of the comedy store. What would you do if we had Red Band's mom come out to the 10-year anniversary of Kill Tony? I'm trying to plan in my head because we're about a year away. I don't think her old ass ever even gets out of her fucking trashy little house she lives in. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get her out of that fucking cesspool of a fucking house she lives in. There's oh no way she's getting out of there. You know, I'm right, aren't I, Red Band? You know, There's no way she's getting you know, out of there. Your mom performed on Kill Tony and a few other places, like the back of my uh, house. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, what do you mean the back, the, of, your the back of your house? Why the back of your house? Because right? I don't want the, the smell to get all around the whole house, you know? So you got to go in the back. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> why, why would the smell be worse in the front of the house than the back of the house? <laughs> because that's... <laughs> Sometimes I like to question like you're where the, pants the, the kitchen is. I could turn on the fans. Oh, there you go. Good <laughs> save. Kitchen fans, get rid That's of that. That's actually really funny, Red <laughs> Band, <that> dumbass. <laughs> you can turn on the kitchen fans. <laughs> How's your fair skin? Any uh, cancerous? Shut the uh, fuck <laughs> up. What? <laughs> there are a lot of freckles, and as the summer approaches, yeah, yeah. people are saying that you are at the top of the uh, skin <laughs> cancer, uh, the poll that we have. Is that really what people are saying? I don't know. I find stuff on my arm sometimes, and I can't tell if it's a mole or William's a... covered in freckles, by the way. I travel with this man. He likes to wear shorts on airplanes for some reason. <laughs> And sometimes I'll find myself bored, you know, perhaps uh, the internet's out or something, and I will just start counting his freckles. You really do that? Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I've only just begun. Ooh. <laughs> do it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> If you guys see red pubic hairs in my teeth next week, it's because uh, it's because I've been sucking off Marshall Rogan. So, oh, good boy. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Fahim, if you, you, you you know William. You I lived do. in Austin for a while, for so a little you, bit, yeah. But I know him from LA more than. Yeah, I remember yeah, at the yeah, comedy yeah. store. That's when I was kind of out of control. Yeah, I think I used to bother you some. I think yeah, I used you to were bother a, little, a lot you of were people. A little extra back in the day, yeah. like because you were using and stuff. But like, it's cool to see reform <laughs> focused William because you're great without that stuff. You know. Yep. Yeah. I know. I have to remember that. It's been a year since I haven't been drinking this past week. It's been good. I had to stop. I had a horrible problem. I got real depressed. It was sad. Way funnier. It's not back a joke. Yeah. For those of you, you that don't sad. know, <laughs> for those of you that don't know, William during his drinking days back in Los Angeles, uh, literally, not only did he not have a filter, his volume levels were out of control, and also he had no shame in going up to absolutely anybody and introducing himself. <laughs> Right? Who are some of the famous ones? Jim Gaffigan. I, I remember miss, that. Mr. Tarantino, I love your movies. No, yeah. Jim Gaffigan, he like really made a fool of himself. It yeah. was really bad. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I cringe kind of when I look back at those times, but I just have to keep trying to move forward because it makes me. Are there any more big people that you remember <laughs> making a fool out of yourself in front of? Because I only remember a couple. Uh, Bob Saget. Oh, that's right. You were there at his hotel that night. I actually was. Yeah, we got to be really good friends after he was a guest on Kill Tony. Yeah, I was actually in the hotel room. Is that the belt? No, that's not how Bob what? Saget died, Red Band. Oh. Look at this. What? Incredible. Shut up, you dumbass. Why oh, are you whatever. fucking all this shit up? 
William, you're unbelievable, man. It is absolutely incredible watching you. You're only really competing with yourself at this point, and uh, it's unbelievable to see your insane style. Well, thank you, Tony. Flourish. That's the great William Montgomery. He's on Cameo. Get a Cameo from William Montgomery. I implore you to get a William Montgomery Cameo. We're William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> It's really him. Come on, one more time for William Montgomery, everybody. This is it. Let's give it up for Hans Kim, everyone. <laughs> This past week in England, they held the Platinum Jubilee for Queen Elizabeth II, celebrating 70 years on the throne. Wait, 70 years on the throne? My legs are normally numb after 45 minutes. <laughs> Much like Brendan Fraser's character in the Pauly Shore classic Encino Man, Red Band's mom had to try and pass as a foreign exchange student throughout much of her adolescence due to the fact that she looked like a fucking caveman. <laughs> this is the ever sassy John Wayne Gacy when he's describing his house to a crime scene investigator. Uh, it's a basement, not a crawl space. <laughs> that was stupid. So it's a basement, not a crawl space. It has been reported Bill Clinton's top advisor, Mark Middleton, who regularly admitted Jeffrey Epstein into the White House, was found dead with a shotgun blast to the chest and hanging from a tree. Weirdest part about it was Aphex Twin was there. <laughs> Much like Andy Dick's character in the Pauly Shore classic In the Army Now, Red Man's mom decided to join the U.S. Army Reserve after her dumbass got fired from an electronics store. We know your mom loves stealing shit, Red Man. Okay. <laughs> Jokes, everybody. Jokes by William Montgomery. One after the other. Different jokes than the week before. Not just repeating catchphrases <laughs> that you've heard on this show, even though he... Used it as an opener. That belt is uh, wrapping around itself, William. Are you aware of this? It is, yeah. I haven't, uh, haven't able to get another one yet. Does, I'm it still quite, just... does it make it to that second belt loop, or are you doing that for style? Because it seems it like it does might... make it to it. I just do it for style. Does it stay there? It feels like it's going to fall out at any No, second. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> That's why I don't fucking do it! <laughs> Falls yeah, well, just out of it. It's one of those, it's one of those fucking Louis C.K. belts you got there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> one second it's not there, the next it's swanging around. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, all of that in common. Hi, William. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Uh, what's ha what's shaking this week? What's happening? Tell us more about uh, it. I actually have really good news. Kirkland reached out after the last episode that aired, and I am back as the spokesperson for Kirkland Brand. Wow, there's actually some audience members here representing wearing the same shirt. What's Kirkland? What's Kirkland? Take that fucking shirt off! Only I'm allowed to fucking wear one in a building, dude. Why'd you fucking wear that? I was horrified from the fucking moment you walked in. I saw your ass fucking wearing that. Polly Shore wants to know what Kirkland's signature is. You're their spokesman. Can you explain to him exactly? It's an exotic brand. We deal... <laughs> Seriously, they tell me to say exotic. They tell me to throw the word exotic in there. Yeah, we're a very exotic brand. We're headquartered in Hawaii. 
They tell you to say exotic? Yeah, they say exotic. They say say where headquarters is somewhere with the jungle. So I've been saying Hawaii recently. Tony, uh, last week we found out that I'm the new Kirkland Signature brand ambassador. Uh, Did that email come from Costco.gov? Well, uh, some new news to you, Redman. I'm the new fucking person. There's only going to be one of us. It's not you anymore. They explicitly said that in the email. Did you get that email? (laughs) <laughs> uh, you might want to check the address. No, he's check like, the fucking he, email, Red Band. He's Did like this. <laughs> he's like the Steve Renazizi of Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I don't get it, Polly. What does that mean? <laughs> Hold on. What does that mean? <laughs> he needs the wing stop, right? <laughs> huh? Exactly. <laughs> I'm with you, William. I'm with you. Um, <laughs> what did that mean, Polly? <laughs> <laughs> William, you made fun of Red Band's mom twice throughout that set, putting a joke of separation in between the other joke. I know. About... I can use the same formula. I got real high earlier, and I was actually watching Forensic Files all day long. I love that show. But yeah, I thought, oh my God, I don't have my five jokes I try to do, so I thought I'm going to just add another <laughs> Red Band. You say my mom's easy? Huh? To write Everybody for. knows like, she's like, fucking right. easy, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? She's an old slut, dude. Wow. Everybody fucking knows it. What do you call her? What, do you, what, what name do you call her? Mama. <laughs> you call her I mama? I call her old ass fucking mama fucking wh- every Tuesday when I'm over there. I go over there every what Tuesday. What exactly do you do with Red Band's mom every Tuesday? You go to Columbus, Ohio for this? Go to Columbus, Ohio. No, I go to Columbus, Ohio, though, every Tuesday. Uh, I get her in the closet. I bend her old ass over in the fucking closet. Dude, wow. dude, come on, bro. I tear that shit no, up! No, 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 you can't say that shit, dude. I tear that shit up, Polly! No, 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 it's too aggressive, bro, please. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> I'm not That's okay not with it. You know I tear it up! Not okay, I'm not, I can't wait to send this to his uh, mom. I'm My sure. mom's going to be here next week. Yeah. You can't bring up Yo, any of yeah, this I'm shit bring when it. Francis I'm show her. is here. I'm thinking All about this. having your parents on the panel next week and having it be the Montgomery. Oh, the guy. Wait, you guys, can we switch spaces? You know, this is the first time I've ever asked uh, someone on the show if I can book their parents for the next week's Oh, is show. that true? Yeah. I'll ask oh, him tomorrow. I'm literally oh. thinking that it'd be fun oh. to have like a oh, the I'm normal dress up. the Montgomerys up. here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> William, do yeah. I have your permission to let your parents sit where Polly is this week? If you want to, if you think that'd be a good idea. Well, there you go. Looks like that's uh, looks like it, that's what's in the cards. Mm. I can't wait. Yeah, Polly and I went to Steak and Shake together one time after I, w- I opened for Polly in San Antonio, and then I had to help him sell his T-shirts for five hours afterwards. <laughs> And then he gave me a fucking $20 bill after fucking working for his ass for five hours on his fucking shirts. He literally hands me a $20 bill. You gotta, you gotta, you you gotta pay your dues. I know, it's fine. It was fun. Pay your dues. You gotta pay your fucking dues, you redhead motherfucker. Okay, (laughs) Polly. Okay. Why do you think you're so funny? Because money's being poured on your fucking dumbass face? No, okay, because you're Polly. homeless, asshole. That's right, There Polly. you go. You, you got to want okay. it. I regret bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big fucking mistake. Wow. <laughs> William. <laughs> dick to dick. Po- Polly. Hold on, Polly. Let's do that at some more. Stop. <laughs> Polly. Polly, you want to you wanna sing William a song? What's, what types of... Why don't you tell the band a song and you can send us home uh, with a jam. Polly Shore famously uh, plays the lead singer of Polly Shore and the Krusties. <laughs> Polly you is- can tell there's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of fans here today. <laughs> <laughs> Of my band. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking sing for you yeah, people because you don't fucking deserve it. No, come on. They don't you know who your wanna... band is. They don't know who your band is. Don't fucking sing to them. 
They don't fucking know who. <laughs> William. No, see, Polly, I was kidding. Polly, what's a song that you know? What's a song that you know how to sing? I know tons of songs, but they don't deserve it. I mean, she. Look at this chick. She lo- She looks like she ate a lemon wedge right here. <laughs> she went like, get the fuck out of here. I'll sing something, but you guys don't know the fucking. They know pe- everything. They know everything. Yeah, yeah. They know everything. D Madness has seen all your why don't movies. We, why don't we? <laughs> why don't we do Tony Orlando tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree? See, they don't want to see that shit. It's, it's, Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. Wait, hold on, D. Manis, can you really not see? I thought this was a fucking joke the whole time. No, he's blind, William. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Polly, what's like an actual song? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of songs. Go to my YouTube page, bro. You want us to go to your t- YouTube page so that we could find out what song you know how to sing? And then, and then we could be like, hey, man. Because they're going to know well, no I have to what. think about it. There's a lot of videos up there. i got to think about which one. There's a lot of genres The guys behind you, Paulie, they're actual musicians. They don't just pretend to be one sometimes. Okay, well, I took a, f- <laughs> I took a gummy earlier, and I don't fucking remember all the songs. <laughs> so give me a break. Let me think about it. i got to really think about the it for gummy. a second. You wanna, I don't know. What do, what do you guys want to hear? Some stones? I don't know. Some fucking, you know, <laughs> give me a shelter. Want to play some Give Me Shelter? See, they don't know that shit. I'm at another level. I didn't fucking think so. They're not... Well, then play it. Stop fucking around. What do you want them to play? You tell them. Play Give Me Shelter by the Rolling Stones. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's some funk shit, dude. That's not, <laughs> that's not Give Me Shelter. If it was Give Me Shelter, it would sound like Keith Richards right there. Now he's got to Google it and shit. I, don't, I told you, you want to see my lovely ass, go to my YouTube page and see a real band. Watch Paul, me. Paul. Oh, oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. I'm just trying to fucking say it like it is, bro. Polly Shore going full heel on the Austin local musicians here. I'll, I'll show you a real band. I'm just, fuck, I'm just fucking with you guys. You guys are cool. You're good. Cool. No, don't leave, Polly. Don't leave. Stay up here. Polly, do you know I believe I can fly? <laughs> that could be a fun one. Do you really know it? I can do whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can do I believe I wait, can fly. Matt, wait. M- Matt's got it. There you go. Use that one. Use that one. William, sit down. The stone <laughs> is leaking. Back in town today. Your soul is leaving. Take it down today. Everybody sing it. Sister, it's just a shadow way. Way love. It's just a kiss away. It's just a kiss away. That's all they get. This is the first time ever, ever, that a comedian has performed in front of his own parents who are guests on the show. This man has done more minutes on the show than any comedian ever. He's absolutely killing it, opening for Joe Rogan, coming on the road with me everywhere where I've been going on this most recent tour, doing much longer sets. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine. This is William Montgomery, the son of Larry and Francis. This is William Montgomery. First and foremost, Mama and Papa, I just want to say it was a real pleasure storming the Capitol with you all last year. We made it all the way inside the Capitol building. Good times. 
A whistleblower has come out against Google's new AI, saying the computer program may be able to trick people into believing they're actually talking with a 15-year-old girl. Technology Red Band has been trying to perfect for years with the rubber sex lady he has in his closet. He's a pervert. He's a pervert. Mama and Papa, I couldn't believe we actually made it into Nancy Pelosi's office. Remember how it was so much warmer in there than it was outside? It's sort of warm in there, I remember. Uh, this is one of those good news, bad news situations. The bad news is that just like what happened with baby formula, there's now a tampon shortage. The good news is that after your baby starves to death, you can use the extra diapers as tampons. Papa, remember how surprisingly hard it was to hoist Mama over the barricades inside the Capitol? I remember at one point you were like, grab her legs, grab your legs, she's slipping. And I caught her, it was like 15 feet up. I was at a CVS the other day and while looking in the toothpaste aisle, saw a toothpaste that claimed it takes 10 years off. Wait, it takes 10 years off what, my life? Ain't no way I'm getting that toothpaste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there it is. Literally two minutes and five seconds for William Montgomery. I mean, this is Kill Tony history. That was gold. Making them part of it, the whole thing. You're such an artist. It's absolutely incredible. William Montgomery. Larry, what would you think of this unbelievable performance? I'm going to be perfectly objective and, and tell you that I was awestruck by his comedic talent. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. He's fucking around! <laughs> I can't believe the gator tail came up. <laughs> God, you used to really hit us with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have used a bigger one because I, <laughs> I love it. And uh, Francis, you're a William Montgomery fan, correct? <laughs> I am. I am. I try to be. What do you think? What, what do you think about his performance here tonight? I thought he did a good job. God, I remember one time being in the kitchen and I had some. Uh, pads on like my knees and my arms and you're like what are you gonna say tonight and I said I'm gonna tell him I got in a bad rollerblading accident and hurt my arms and I literally remember you just started crying <laughs> not like in a good kind of cry <laughs> it was like well I probably thought you really had <laughs> no um, I don't think so it was <laughs> <laughs> that memory sticks out. Let me ask you just you this. <laughs> Francis, was there anything weird that William did as a kid? Was he an odd boy at all? Do you remember anything about his childhood that well, sort of. Yeah. When he was in high school, uh -huh. he was on the stage of his school uh -huh. on a skateboard with a. What are those things called? A sparkler. No, no, no. Uh -huh. They couldn't have had a sparkler. <laughs> Fentanyl. What is it? A it was a Roman yeah, shut the fuck up, Red Man. Man. You hadn't done anything all night, my sweet mom's her, fucking telling me. Let, let her tell her this story. Let her tell the story. He's on stage. He had a stick that I helped him make <laughs> with ribbons all off of it. Here. And he went skating down the aisle and skated around the stage at MUS where he went to school. Why would you fucking tell that story? And he, he a right. stick with some ribbons coming out. It was and skating around. You did, he did one of those ribbon we things? Yeah, it's getting shaped. Oh my girl. god, that sounds hilarious. We Is got, there a video of this? I used to take he lessons. Wear, he would dress up in this white tuxedo. Oh my god. <laughs> But it's his high school's fault. They would let him get on the stage at the school and entertain the school. Here, here's two quick ones. Yeah. Uh, Larry was ready for this question. He, one summer, 
he was a runner at my law firm, and runners deliver shit and file stuff. And th for the entire summer, the one thing he accomplished was <laughs> creating an 18-story paperclip chain. <laughs> that was it. It literally, we were. Uh, it was on the 18th floor. It reached to the bottom eventually. And that's a true story. It took me the whole fucking summer. That's it's this giant thing of paper clips. And my, my firm. My Someone firm, just yelled that William yeah, is Get him out of here! Oh, all right. Immediately <laughs> after that summer, my firm in, uh, put in place a strict nepotism policy. No more kids. <laughs> wow, really? Oh my God. Oh my God, you ruined it for everybody, William. An 18-story <laughs> paper clip. Yeah, it was impressive. It literally, it was, we were on the 18th floor. It reached to the bottom floor. Wow. The, How, the other thing they did yeah. was some nice person at my firm was writing a book, and William got into the computer system and erased oh. the book. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> William! What the fuck? Why'd you do that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have some bad tell. shit coming back to me. Yeah, that's. Oh, just... I bet you got the gator tail. Good. <laughs> <I did. laughs> hey, oh. William! I bought your mom some beautiful flowers, and I got her a present. Oh, okay, I saw yeah. that. So sweet. Thank he you did. so much for getting the flowers. He What's bought her a present? present. She's gonna open it now with William on the stage. Wow. Well, she's like, I don't you gotta know. open a card first. So you just Wait, open. Wait. Oh, she, she should open yeah, the card yeah. first. Open what, the card what's wrong first. with you? What kind of animal are you? Wow. Shut the fuck up, rabbit! Don't call my oh. mom an animal. All right. Here, read what it read what it says. I'll hold it for you if you want. Dear Mrs. Montgomery, the Kirkland family and I welcome you to Austin with open arms. Room 710. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Right? Oh, oh, my goodness. He bought Mrs. Montgomery an enema. <laughs> Red Ban. Why would you do that? It helps with constipation also. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this to me because I gave him one first. Oh, shit. <laughs> and it's because we found out when William was a kid, she would give him enemas That's like almost every it couple is weeks. It, is a it was like once a week. You seem really passionate about this. <laughs> did, did you ever give him an enema? How does a rumor like this no, start? It was a thermometer when he was little bitty. You used to put a little thermometer in It was an enema. used to put a thermometer in Will, little it. William's innocent asshole? <laughs> Does, doesn't everybody check their child's temperature through their anus three times a day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's weird about that? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, times. what's weird about that? So you made up enema and told My all goodness. Them. Did well, you ever did you ever <laughs> think that you shoving a thermometer up William's ass continuously is the reason why he ended up how he ended he up? Probably about three times. I don't even know how you remember yeah, that. Yeah, three times a day. Papa was right. It was like three times a day. Papa was right. And yeah, Papa William, was. <laughs> William did really like pull us aside and say, "No, it was an enema. I remember all those plastic tubes in the trash can every day." <laughs> Is this true, William? Why the fuck are you bringing this up, right, man? You know this embarrasses me. You know I'm really horrified right now. I told you never to fucking bring up the enema thing. Why would you later? And my parents are on stage right I, now. I, I think we need to confront it again. I guess. <laughs> Why would you fucking do this when my parents are on the stage with me right now, Red Band? That's a real fucking coward thing to do. You're going to fucking pull that shit out when my fucking sweet parents are up here? You fucking bitch. I, I got her a, uh, uh, a coupon for one free massage, also from the Costco Kirkland Corporation. One free massage. Get off the stage, Red Band! <laughs> this is the first time William has ordered Red Band off the stage before in the show's history. Wow. <laughs> Photo ID required on this Costco. Uh, <laughs> one free massage. And in parentheses, it says LOL. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to make it funny. You wanted to read it, he'd be like, eh. <laughs> Red Band, you're insane, dude. I love it.
William, two different types of denim here tonight coming out guns yes. blazing. Parents are in town. How do you think your yep. parents... Yep. Do you have anything to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about your parents being the first ever uh, non-comedian, non-musician, non rap you know, like, tell it... It's been wonderful to watch. I was pretty sure it was going to go well, but it was very fun to watch. You sweet papa, you went after those fucking pieces of shit who were up here trying to do fucking... It was. I thought that it was... was uh, I think Francis was good cop and Larry was bad <laughs> cop here. You could tell. I mean, you could tell. But it was great. It was a lot of fun. I was pretty sure it would... Your mom is the first person to check anyone's uh, butt temperature during the show. I don't know if you guys <laughs> caught it, but... Do you have a thermometer in your purse? No. You probably do. <laughs> you really get <laughs> mad about this butt temperature thing. <laughs> to say it into the microphone. You have to respond. It sounds horrible. <laughs> so why'd you do it? <laughs> because that's what they told you to do then. I are you sure? William's younger than... I, I don't remember having a thermometer in my butthole. God, why did you bring this up right I now? I don't remember. Holy shit. I don't think... It, I, th I think they had the ones for the mouth. Did you ever take it out no, of his... No, because you were too little. You couldn't put it in your mouth then. Well, did you, you ever give him a little ATM thermometer check? <laughs> did you ever check off. his mouth? You ever, you ever spray the enema against the thermometer and then put it in his mouth? All right. It's been so much fun. <laughs> it was very sweet. Now, you guys are uh, all legends. How loud can this place get for the Montgomerys, huh? <laughs> William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Oh, my goodness. Live in the flesh. First and foremost, I just have to let everyone know the people here last week were not actually my parents. Uh, they were actors I hire. Um, I didn't really know what it was, so I did some research on it, and I just wanted to say I hope all of my Hispanic brothers and sisters had a happy Juneteenth yesterday. I've started hearing R. Kelly's Age Ain't Nothing But a Number on the radio a lot recently, and I gotta say, R. Kelly, did you write that song for me? How in the hell you know I've been hollering at that young Ray Twi God damn it, I messed that up. I tried to talk differently and I couldn't do it. I was trying to say, how in the hell did you know I've been hollering at that young waitress at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> I was eating breakfast with my parents this past week, and my dad said, man, everyone really supports Ukraine around here. Look, there's even a little Ukrainian flag on the waffle. And I was like, Dad, that's the gay flag. It's a fucking rainbow. I know you're kidding. <laughs> I've started hearing Billy Ocean's Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car on the radio a lot recently, and I got to say, Billy Ocean, did you write that song for me? How in the hell did you know I've been planning on kidnapping that young waitress at Chuck E. Cheese? Okay, I got the second one. Okay. <laughs> William lights out Montgomery. At it again. Very much in his zone. This is what he does. More minutes than any other comedian ever in the history of the show. And he did it again with some brand new Billy Ocean jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I literally heard that song. I heard it at the beginning of the week last week, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a really weird... What do you mean, get out of my dreams, get into my car? That sounds weird. And then I was trying to remember it, and then it literally came on today, and I was like, oh, that's the song. And I wrote that, and I thought if I threw in Chuck E. Cheese, it would make people laugh, but obviously I was wrong. <laughs> I was thinking it would. <laughs> William coming in with a brand new haircut that we've never seen on a Monday night before. This is brand, this is breaking news. We've seen nothing like this before. We've never seen you try to clean up your physical act in any way. Uh, my parents said I looked homeless and came over to the apartment and I got my hair cut. I had to. You got real pedophile mugshot face. It Thank really, you. It really is. <laughs> Hey, and Red Band, I also, I didn't just shave my head and beard. I also shaved my pubes. And Red Band, you always asked, 
for my pubes if I ever shave them. Here they are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do not. Do not. No, 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 no. William, do not. Do not. No. No. Those do are not. my pubes. No, don't, don't open those. <laughs> don't open those. All right. Very good. Very good. That's pure. That's pure. Red band. Do That's no. real ginger. Get, get out of here. Holy we don't give shit. Red Band anything physical <laughs> to, uh, oh, to yeah. touch. That is completely disgusting. <laughs> wow. Right? Those yeah, that's thick. all over my body. That's <laughs> all over the lower part of my body. Thick. There are some particles I'm seeing that made it. I really tried hard to make sure none of these bozos open the fucking bag. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it would be impossible. This DNA okay. could solve the capital right. <laughs> <laughs> William, fresh haircut, still dressing like a Vietnam veteran. Very interesting. <laughs> Seen a lot of war in your days. Mark, it's weird you did bring up the Capitol thing. I was there on January 6th. Where? Not a lot of people know that. Yeah, I was there with my parents. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And Shane, I'm looking at your fucking white ass. You're actually whiter than I am, it looks like. I saw you looking earlier, you fucking hack. Go ahead. <laughs> Shut the you fuck up! Save it up for a joke, you fucking bum. Shut Go the ahead, fuck motherfucker. Up. Go ahead. Are you fucking serious right now? Oh, uh, the way you shook my hand in that green room, I'd love to see you trash me. Shut now. the fuck up. You're the one who fucking oh, barely oh. shook my hand, you Mr. bitch. You get, Mr. Shankulous. Uh, Shut now the look fuck at up! You. Now look at you. Couple lights turn on, you're a big shot. Go ahead, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Why would you tell everybody I call you Mr.? Why would you do that? Damn. Holy oh, shit. Mr. Gillis! Oh. <laughs> God, why would you tell everybody I call him, I call him Mr. Gillis? A couple years ago, he told me that's what I'm supposed to call him, and that's what I call him. He's like, you have to call me Mr. Gillis from here on out, and I, okay, I'm still doing it. You asked me to do it. This is the kind of argument you can see go down if you ever go to Great White Land, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, William, what else has been going on? So you sent your parents back to Tennessee, is that correct? I did. They are back. They made it back. I think it took them 27, 28 hours. <laughs> My dad drives real slow. It took them two days to make the eight-hour tri eight trip. They really drove? Yeah, they drove. Holy shit. They don't fly on planes. Really? Yeah. Why? After the value jet that went down in the Everglades, man, that really messed a lot of people up. People forget about that. That was a horrible plane crash. Remember the ones in the Everglades? It was a value jet. Yeah, after that happened, my parents refused to get on an airplane. Right. Red Band, what was that, you dumbass? What was that little fucking noise, dude? That's when your dad overtook the pilot and somebody saw it and put that... Red he didn't Band. God. Red Band. God. <laughs> that, no that was so stupid <laughs> sounding. What the fuck did you even say? I don't even really hear the words that come out of your mouth. No, I don't, don't your repeat it. Moving around. Don't, the, the, the bad improv decision is to repeat what you said the first time, Red Band. <laughs> All Keep right. going, Red Band, dude. Don't let these guys bully you, dude. <laughs> Go, Red Band. Don't let these motherfuckers bully you, dude. I just love the, the real story about him cutting his hair is that his dad told him, his parents go, you yeah. look like a bum, and he right. had to get his hair cut because yeah. his parents told him. That's true. That is true. We, uh, Why I, is that I, so I, funny down there? I was there. <laughs> In fact, funny. I'll give you a little behind the scenes. I literally had dinner with the Montgomerys, Whoa. and uh, yeah, we had, a, we had a real nice sit-down dinner. You had 12 sit -down potatoes. Dinner. <laughs> yeah, I, as, as everyone knows, I ate my usual 12 potatoes that I order. Everywhere I go, it's the only thing that I eat. I operate solely off of potato no, power. the Montgomerys. <laughs> Skins and all. There is no part of the potato in which I will not eat. Perhaps the spuds, if they extend or whatever. Uh, you love oh. it when they extend. I do. I do. I try to hold it over my mouth <laughs> so that it's like an erection in my mouth. I wait for the spud. Anyway, uh, uh, so. It was weird watching Tony eat those potatoes. It was so weird. Yeah, by, by, by number 9, 10, 11, it gets a little super strange. Um, okay, so yeah. So I showed up to the fucking nice steak dinner, and William is standing there smiling with this fucking haircut looking at me. 
And I'm like, what is going on? And uh, they're like, we made him cut his hair. Isn't it great? And I'm literally like, no, you guys are retarded. <laughs> He's a comedian, and he needed that fucking silly hair. This is He was all embarrassed. It's like when someone cuts yeah, their... Yeah, it was so awkward. It's like when someone cuts horrible. the hair of a poodle or something like that. And the, yeah. And the dog looks all sad and shit. Like, he was all, like, fucking, like... <laughs> He was like all shell shocked that whole meal because he didn't know how to like eat with his new haircut or whatever. I didn't. I didn't. You're a grown man, William. Why did you like like say, yeah, I'll do this? Like just because your parents want it. Like, I you don't have know. To... I love Larry and Francis. I thought I would throw them a bone and get my fucking hair trimmed. I don't know why it's such a fucking big deal for you, Red Man. I don't know why you fucking keep harping on it. Because, like Tony said, that was a big part of you. You know, and you'd love your well, hair. Well, now it's beard. gone, <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I seriously don't know what to do with this new fucking haircut. <laughs> uh, I can't sleep at night. <laughs> why, why, why can't you sleep at night? I don't know. I've just been having these nightmares. About <laughs> these what? Weird. What are you dreaming about? Nightmares of what? <laughs> Herbie the Love Bug. Uh, God, y'all yeah. never watch that. That is the scariest fucking movie. It's this car that communicates with people. A, Herbie a, the Love Bug is literally, he's haunting my dreams. A master of topical <laughs> references, <laughs> William Montgomery, with a brand new 2023 Herbie the Love Bug joke. <laughs> Just fucking Billy Ocean. <laughs> you, you, you know, uh, over at Kirkland Signature, we can get you a realistic hair piece. And you wig. don't actually work at Kirkland Signature, Red Band. Quit right. fucking lying to these people. <laughs> and it's weird as shit you bring that up. I told you not to fucking bring it up anymore, Red Band. Seriously. Why would you bring that up? Just don't bring up Kirkland Signature. I'm just trying to help you out, man. Shut up. No, you're not. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Absolute chaos. <laughs> William, what else before I let you go? Any, I made oh. some really good spaghetti last night. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> let, let, let me get. Let me guess. Angel hair. <laughs> Wait, who said that? That was me. That you know it was me. What are you insinuating? I'm losing all of my hair. <laughs> no. My hair that I do have looks like angel hair. Oh, no. why is that? That's a thicker noodle. Angel hair, famously up there with the thickle nude. <laughs> the thicker noodle. It's up there with the fettuccines and the. Uh... Yeah, I went with the angel hair. I put some bell peppers in there. Put some onions. Put some tomato sauce. Some tomato paste. Did you do that because? Tomato. Did you do that exact recipe because that's what your parents told you to do? Yeah, that's what my mom. I followed my mom's recipe. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, we famously plugged your cameo uh, recently, and the rumor on the streets is that you've been making hundreds of thousands of dollars a week on cameo. I made literally last week. Everybody keep getting my cameos. They're $5,000. I made 250 k last week on cameo. Wow. This is literally the number one most profitable cameo, man. He went high, high starting number thinking that people would not buy any. It turns out it's a sensation. It is the new uh, Gucci, if you will. Yeah, 450 uh, people got them. It's literally taken over my life. I'm just sending these dumbass videos. Okay, Red Band, why do you fucking interrupt me? I was... It is, uh, <coughs> it is a thing. So, uh, all right, William, we did it again. We How do you it. feel? What, what, what do you think? What adjustments do you think uh, we're going to see of you in the future? You've been doing this show longer than anybody else. A lot of people, you know, love you. A lot of people like you. Fuck yeah, we love you. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> where do you see this all going? Where do you see, th where do you see this all going, William? Uh, there is a remake of, uh, what is that kid show called? With the little dog? Blues Clues? No, Lassie? with the little Jack Russell Terrier. Wishbone. wishbone. Yeah, no, I'm actually being cast for the uh, little boy who has Wishbone. And uh, it's a WKNO PBS. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. The Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, William Montgomery. Woo! 
This is it, everyone. How's it going? My name is William Montgomery, and I'm running for county alderman. It's been a long time coming, but I can pinpoint the day I realized I wanted to be a politician. We had this mud pit in the backyard, and since I was the youngest, my parents would make me get in the mud pit before everyone else to scare away the snakes. One day I'd gotten into the mud pit to scare away the snakes and a big water moccasin slithered right up to me. It, I was terrified. It was right in front of my face and my dad yells, get the hell out of its way. It's going to bite you. But I just stood there stone faced and I made a promise to the snake that day. And you know what that snake did? It slithered away. Old stone face. That's my nickname ever since. Old Stoneface, and if I'm elected to county alderman, I will stare down every snake, every frog, and every lizard in our great community. USA! 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 All right, I've got some policies I'd like to go over. Have y'all been able to figure this out yet? Is it Santa or your parents? <laughs> I'm sick of this puzzle. I have to try and figure out every December 25th. And if we're on the subject of Christmas, am I the only one totally shocked we still see Frosty the Snowman on television around Christmas time? Let me see if I've got this right. A group of kids finds a magical top hat and puts on a snowman, causing the snowman to reanimate. Wait, where am I right now? Hell or the Twilight Zone? Get Frosty the Snowman off my TV. We're in America, not the North Pole. If I'm elected county alderman, there will be no mention of Frosty the Snowman after 2024. Okay, I've got like 15 more of these, Tony. Okay. If we're on the topic of holidays, my policy regarding Halloween is pretty straightforward. Growing up, you know the one day I couldn't go outside, Tony? Halloween. You know why? I was the youngest, so my mom wouldn't let me go out with my brothers, and more importantly, I was scared to death. I wasn't trying to walk around outside with a bunch of demons and vampires. If I'm elected county alderman, you can rest assured we're getting rid of Halloween once and for all. Enough beating around the bush on this issue. I mean, where am I? America are the gates to hell. Speaking of giving our political prisoners back, hey, Germany, I'm looking at you. Tony, do you know how many American prisoners of war we still have over in Germany since our involvement in World War II? I don't know either. I was asking you. Okay, let's go on to the next policy. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to ask you this. What do you think is currently the biggest issue facing our community? What's the biggest issue, issue facing our community? You're right. It is that we still have elementary schools to stop at the sixth grade. If I'm elected county alderman, elementary schools will stop at the 12th grade. I have more, but it's hard. I, I, I think we should hear all of them. I'm running for county fucking alderman. And Louis J., just for the record, I do like Puerto Ricans. Okay. When was the last time you heard about a Japanese person with a bad back, Tony? It's been a long time. Well, if I'm elected county alderman, every new home in our community will be pre installed with traditional Japanese short leg tables. Studies have shown that by sitting down to eat in the Japanese manner, it strengthens our back. 
By 2024, I want all newly built home houses to have the Chabu die pre-installed. That's the name of the table. It's called a Chabu die. In case y'all didn't realize, the little Japanese tables are called Chabu dies. If you ask my opponent about all this, you know what he'll tell you, Tony? Why? That he doesn't like Japanese people. <laughs> I think we're trying to move forward, sir, not backwards. <laughs> Just because his wife cheated on him with the Japanese guy doesn't give my opponent the right to take his hate speech out of the internet forums and into our community. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the next one. Yeah, there's more. Is it, a good, is it a better one than the last one? I don't know. We'll see. They've all been pretty screwy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And, Tony, if we're talking about hate speech in the Internet forums, you know what? Yep. Let's keep it in the Internet forums. Is that so hard? My opponent actually is the administrator for a forum. You know what they talk about in the forum he runs, Tony? What? Japanese people. You know what they say about Japanese people, Tony? That they don't take as big of creative risks as American people? No, that a lot of Japanese people these days don't use the, tr the traditional short leg tables anymore, which is a patently false statement because I live with a Japanese person and we eat at the Chapu Dai every night. Okay, that's the end of my policy. Literally six have. minutes and 25 seconds of William Montgomery. We love him so much. We could never cut him off short. Wow. I've never seen you this sweaty before in the history of your performing on the show. This is incredible. You look like a righteous gemstone that just fell into a river. Tony, I actually smeared my head with Vaseline tonight, so ah. I don't know... What I'm going to do before I go to sleep, I guess I need to remember to jump in the shower. There's literally Vaseline all over my fucking head right now. Yeah. You, you, William, you look like how women see Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing, right? It is true. Wow. You somehow cool. look like all the characters in the Big Lebowski mush together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fear and loathing in Austin, Texas right here. I like the commitment to the bit. I've never seen him before, and this guy went balls deep on this bit. I mean, true commitment is rolling with something that just simply isn't working at all. Yeah, that? I was a little horrified at the very beginning. I was a little horrified. Lewis, I have to ask you, why did you not invite me to fucking Skank Fest in Vegas, dude? William Montgomery, can I say something right now? You yeah. have a fucking open invite to every Skank Fest for the rest of fucking history, you piece of shit. Oh, really? Stop, stop your yeah, games. Yeah, you never answered me. Stop your fucking games. You're coming to Skank Fest Vegas. Wow. Okay, well, thank you. It doesn't fucking yeah, you matter. Okay. I loved you. Okay, stop I love you it. too. It's nice to fucking stop see you games. again, dude. Stop these fucking uh, games. Hey, Give me dude. a dick, dude. Oh, Let shit. me see what you got under there, He's bro. He's about to pull out the little red machine. We'll see how much you can commit. This is a bad idea. Here, My thing's going to pop out. <laughs> now we saw, we saw the moment he stops committing. Come here, pussy. If you want to see his bush, you could just look at the lady's armpits from before. Okay, we're not <laughs> doing that. Lewis, what's the game plan on this one? I'm going to... You I'm going to whip your freckly cock out right now in front of everybody in Austin, Texas. I'm fucking sweating so hard right now. It yes. is absolutely incredible. He is dripping sweat <laughs> everywhere. And, and, uh, uh, Tony, is that the same suit company that you guys in Hans and Joe Rogan? I don't think so. I don't think we got them from uh, the under. I got this from Goodwill yesterday. And what the <laughs> fuck does that mean, Red Band, you dumbass? Why the fuck would you ask me that? Obviously, William, fresh off of a day at the funeral home, working hard. Where did you get that suit from, William? I got it from Goodwill yesterday. You really uh, did? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And you found one that fits. How about that? This is a whole new look for you. Whole new look. It was $40. Wow. Absolutely yep. incredible. 40 fucking dollars for this fucking nightmare of a set tonight. I paid yeah. 40 fucking bucks to make a fool of myself up here tonight. 
In front of Louis J, my man who never responded to me. The sweat is Open overwhelming. Open invite, okay, William. Yeah, what else can I say? The sweat is overwhelming. Did you do something different with your diet this week, William? <laughs> yeah, like, you I actually. Are soaking, literally dripping off of his eyebrows onto the glasses, onto the lower part of his face. We have we watch him every week. We've never seen anything like this before. I don't. He think literally I... may be days away from a massive heart attack. <laughs> I actually started doing cocaine again! Why the fuck are people cheering for that? That would be very bad. They think you're gonna die here tonight. Yeah. Is that why people were cheering? Yeah, it's it's almost frightening how much you're sweating. Oh my god, look at that drop coming Well, right there in the middle, we're gonna go right now. Did you see that? That's insane. It's literally like a fucking, it looks like Niagara Falls <laughs> up there or something. My whole body is sweating like What this. did you do differently <laughs> this week? You are, it definitely, your body is trying to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a three-piece suit in 100 degree weather. <laughs> it literally looks like in like those old SNL sketches when they would do like, when they would have like a tube a running tube, off the yeah. top of their head. Like overly obnoxiously sweating, but this is all natural. This is real. What did you do this week? Tell us the truth. Oh, man. Do you really want to know? Yeah. You really want to know? Yeah. How many of you want to know what he did this week? Y'all really want to fucking know what I started doing differently this week? I started playing hopscotch. Ah. Yeah, I've been sweating a whole shit ton playing hopscotch. Have you ever played that? It's like a playgrounds game. Yeah. Playgrounds game. The Playground more, games the more games. we mention your sweat, the more it makes you sweat, right? Yeah, I, yeah I'm literally horrified. This that was a nightmare tonight. <laughs> I spent so much time on it. It was a horrible disaster, and now I literally can't stop sweating. <laughs> sweating. I think it's because of the Vaseline <laughs> I put on my fucking head. I thought that'd be funny, putting Vaseline on my fucking head. But it's just making me uncontrollably sweat. <laughs> there are droplets of sweat flowing down his forehead. And I taste it. It's all in my mouth. It tastes like Vaseline in my fucking mouth right now. All he has to do to After look... After a horrible fucking set, now all I can fucking taste is Vaseline You want to get the fucking... flavor out of your mouth? Can I throw a grape in your mouth? We haven't made it in anybody's mouth tonight. It's a little bit too much. Here, I, I got it. I got it. Ah... Uh... <laughs> William, open your mouth. <laughs> Don't throw it Stop hard. Doing that red band. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, ah! almost. Open ah! your mouth. Open it up. Over here. We have to be able to do that. This isn't working! <laughs> this isn't working! <laughs> and I can't stop fucking sweating! What, what, this is making me sweat so much work. Stop throwing it hard. Okay, the You're sweat's in my eyes now. Okay. I can't do it. William, open your mouth. Okay. <laughs> William. <laughs> I can't do it. William, keep trying. Don't stop playing music. Do not stop playing music right Yeah, now. don't stop playing. William. <laughs> we did it. Oh my God. Y'all see that shit? Wow, very good, sir. All right. <laughs> we did it. We did it. The people love it. 
William lights out Montgomery. Wait, hold, hold on. Does that guy really have HIV? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. I heard on the news the other day that mermaiding is on the upswing around the world, which is really crazy because I used to date a mermaid. We would, uh, wait, we wouldn't really have sex. She'd just lay eggs in the bathtub and then I'd come by later on and pee on everything. <laughs> you haven't really lived until you're slipping around the bathtub trying to pee on thousands of fish eggs while some lady dressed like a mermaid is watching you from the far corner of the bathroom. It's the worst fucking five years of my life. What do Ariel from The Little Mermaid and Red Band's mom have in common? They were both getting railed by a guy named Prince Eric in 1989. Hunter Biden doesn't know who to root for in the Russia-Ukraine conflict because on the one hand, he slept with Russian prostitutes, but on the other hand, he slept with Ukrainian prostitutes. Okay, that's it. That's all. One minute, 32 new seconds of the great William Montgomery. A man who, like Hans, comes in and shows exactly how it's done. William, I must say, you've been making some real money for the first time in your career this past year, and this is the first time we've ever seen you in a coordinated outfit like this. I'm actually, I have some really good news. I'm actually, I got the call from Adidas a couple days ago. I'm sponsored by Adidas wow. now. Wow. Look at that. New sponsorship. Two years, seven hundred thousand dollars. Wow, that is incredible. What what do you have to do for them? Just wear their stuff? Just wear this, and it's been hot as fucking hell <laughs> here in Austin. It's been a fucking nightmare. That's all they gave you is that tracksuit, no shorts or a t shirt or anything. This is all I literally got in the mail. I just got this fucking track. It's literally so hot outside. It was what, hundred and ten yesterday? Yeah. And today, yeah. Very, very hot days. Oh, my God, but it's it is so incredible. Horrible. You're wearing Adidas shoes, Adidas pants, Adidas jacket. I yep. Mean, this is incredible. Why do you think Adidas chose you to be their new spokesman? Normally, they go with extremely... Uh, well, it's actually, I don't have to guess. It's because they saw some videos of me playing basketball. I'm really... Uh, really? Yeah, the kind of basketball where you're dribbling real fast and you do the crazy passes. I'm actually really good at... Why is that so fucking funny, dumbass? Oh, shit. <laughs> William is going You haven't in. fucking laughed at anything, and now you're cackling at the idea of me being good at basketball? William, that's hot. He's just jealous. It's really, really hot. Go cool. on. thank you, and nice you're to welcome. see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, my Dribble goodness. Dribble it. Dribble it just a little bit. Hell, yeah. W why are you wearing fake Adidas, though? Why are you wearing fake like, Adidas? <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up, yeah, dude. dude. Look at no shoes. That's, those aren't fake Adidas. Yeah, Let's these aren't fake Adidas. Let's talk about this dribbling. I mean, that is incredible. I thought the best dribbler on the show was Jared Nathan. To find out that <laughs> Adidas found a dribbling video of you is absolutely incredible. I know. It's crazy. And they're literally sending me $700,000. It's a two-year $700,000 contract. Yeah, I just pretty much have to wear this and keep on uh, doing the dribbling videos. <laughs> okay. Uh, very interesting. I saw that you wiped off the microphone to prevent HIV. I did. I'm a little horrified. I already have a compromised immune system. I'm a little... Is it safe for me to be using this after that guy? Yes. It is? Yes. yes. I, thought it, I thought that was transferred through spit and... No, much, much like jokes, he did not have HIV. <laughs> um... So your set was about peeing on mermaid eggs, and somehow <laughs> you manage, with your style, you are able to make that work. Yeah, I was a little worried. I wrote the mermaid stuff a couple days ago, and the whole time I'm thinking, is this going to be funny? 
Yeah. Is this going to be a fucking disaster again tonight? God, you remember last week, the county alderman? Yeah. That was rough. Rough as hell. Luckily, Adidas didn't see that video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a damn good thing they didn't see that video. Right. It really is. It's a damn good it's thing. It's a really good thing. I swear to God, if Adidas saw that fucking video last week, there's no way I would have gotten a two-year, $700,000 contract. No way. From Adidas. I mean, literally, there's zero way I'm getting a 200. The episode with your parents came out. The episode with your parents' as guests came out last week, and it is considered one of the most critically acclaimed episodes of the show in its history. Um, that was a great one. Have you talked to your parents since last Monday? Have you talked with them about this? Are they excited? Do they feel good? Yeah, they are excited. My mom actually is leaving my dad. Some guy started messaging my mom on Instagram. My mom has pretty much fallen in love with this piece of shit down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Wow. So she's really excited right now. <laughs> she's really, yeah, she's you can say that. <laughs> She's pumped, man. Huh? She's pumped up. She's yeah, starting she's a whole new up. life. Yeah. She's excited right now. I like so. your attitude a lot. Cool. I like yours, actually. So. Ooh, she's, William. She's, I've she's never seen strong. you. I've never. I've been, I've been watching William <laughs> deal with different guests of different shapes and sizes for a long time. I've never seen him so smitten. I like the anger. It oh is so goodness. nice to see you again. It's been a little while. Yeah, it's really nice to see you, too. You guys know Do you like nice. older women? Huh? Do you like older women? You could say that. Okay, cool. Wow. All right. Will, William. You could say that again. William, I can't really picture you being sexually active. Um, it's disgusting to what think would about. Be, what would be the first thing you would do if you given the opportunity to have an evening with a woman like... Is, Acclaimed I, and beautiful is the great Mary Lynn Rice Cup, whose brand new book, Famish. Don't fuck fuck this up. Okay, who's, I mean, I'd probably I'd probably bring you back to my apartment. No, you don't start there. Huh? Right. Bring me back to your apartment. I'd bring yeah. you back to my what fucking are we doing apartment. That? I'd bring you back to my apartment. From where? After we ate at Pluckers, the wing place. <laughs> Now I'd probably we're take, talking. Yeah, okay. I'd probably take you to Pluckers. Yeah, we start at fucking Pluckers. I'd take you to Pluckers. You'd be sweating in that suit. You're sweating like a motherfucker. You, oh, you get me whatever Even I want. those hot ass wings. Getting the fucking wing stuff all over hey. my new track. Suit. William, William, are you going to let me get whatever I want at Pluckers? Yeah, as long as... Anything it, on the menu? Yeah, anything you want. How Whoa. much? Anything you want, girl. Oh, like, what shit. if I get a lot of food and a lot of drinks? Will you pay for it, William? Yeah, it depends on how much, but probably. No! no! How much money were you thinking you were going to spend? 700 fucking dollars, William. There's no way. I heard about your endorsements. Yeah. Yeah, I that's have a serious... One, what you, why are you asking me how much money you pay? I just want to know if I can TT on your fish eggs. I, I'd get your ass back to the apartment. I'd make your ass lay some eggs in the bathtub. And I'd fucking go in there and TT all over it. I swear to God, I'd love to pee on your eggs. Can you, can you pay for all these mermaid babies, William? <laughs> no, there's no way. What? Can you, can you pay for... <laughs> mermaids go to private school. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. My mermaid children... What? Pay to fucking go to a private school? Yeah, it's an ocean school. They have to be in water. That's a stupid idea. Expensive. It doesn't have to be in water. Hey, this is your world, man. I'm entering into your mermaid world. I know, right? and you'd be really sweet if you did. I swear to God, if you came to my apartment and you ended up laying some eggs in the fucking bathtub, I me... swear I would pee all over those eggs. You know what, William? Let me see if I have any eggs left. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? I might have one or two for you, baby. Oh, <laughs> shit. Some of those Kirkland signatures. You know what I'm <laughs> Some of those. The best brand out there. Yep. Pretty good. Not as good as Adidas. <laughs> I don't think Kirkland Signature and Adidas are in competition, William. They actually are. I looked at the report yesterday. They're sending me reports. It's actually... Wow. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Don't put that mic on your face, baby. God, shut up! 
<laughs> I don't want you to get AIDS. I don't want you to I'm get kidding. AIDS. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I shouldn't have yelled at you. You like know what? That. As long as you apologize afterwards, I'll, I'll, uh, you can be violent. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can beat her up a little bit. Just say the magic word afterwards. What? After I pee on the eggs? Or what are y'all talking about? After what? <laughs> I don't know. I, lo- I lost the plot. <laughs> Where did this pee on the fucking eggs thing come That's from? That's how it works in the mermaid world. What type of weed are you smoking when you're writing your material? <laughs> No, literally, that's how it works. The lady mermaid goes into the bathtub, lays the eggs, and the guy comes in there and TTs all over the eggs. I swear to God, that's Guys, how it works, there's Tony. A, there's a guy that's been doing this for five fucking years <laughs> that, like, tried his hardest. William comes up destroying, talking about peeing on mermaid eggs, just destroying the room. You know that guy's at the urinal still, just like, Fuck! <laughs> William, another unbelievable job. Nobody does it oh, like him. You. Make some noise for the Big Red Machine. William Montgomery! The Big Red Machine! The Memphis Strangler! The Vanilla Gorilla! So I can actually vouch my sister does have two pussies. Um... <laughs> Something about me, though, I have two vaginas. Shut the fuck up. I'm in! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the women out in the... Situ- Ooh, let me start this one over. <laughs> Ooh. The women out in the streets protesting the Supreme Court's abortion ruling said they're going to refuse to have sex with men. In other news, I'm going to refuse to be a member of Hootie and the Blowfish. (laughs) Ain't nobody trying to have sex with you bitches. (laughs) Arch Manning has committed to play quarterback for the Texas Longhorns. The next question is what defensive player will he lose the Heisman to? That's a good Peyton Manning joke for anybody curious why that one's funny. Um, Green Day's Billy Joe Armstrong said he's renouncing his U.S. citizenship and moving to London over the Supreme Court's abortion ruling, which is actually sad because I really liked Green Day when I was fucking six. (laughs) Gatorade recently began phasing out 32-ounce bottles in favor of 28-ounce ones, but charging the same amount. Also charging the same amount for an inferior product, Red Band's mom. She's an aging prostitute. That's why that would... <clears throat> She's an aging whore. Y'all should see how fucking old she is. I can't believe she's still selling her pussy to people. It's nasty. It's sickening. She is so old. What is she, like 70? She's older than 70. 82. 82. Ooh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's 82. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 56, man. You're 56? Okay, I didn't need to fucking know that. Why are you fucking telling me that shit right now? If y'all found out Aphex Twin burnt CDs using lighter fluid, you'd all be like, he's such a genius. Okay, I'm ending with the Aphex Twin joke. <laughs> That's it. Wow. William Montgomery. The living legend. The vanilla gorilla. The Memphis Strangler. The Big Red Machine. You are back. You are wearing uh, an Adidas tracksuit for the first time ever. Uh, and I, I cannot tell. There seems to be something a little bit different about you. Than, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh... You have two beards like the girl had two pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very excited to announce to everybody I am Bosley Hair Club's new spokesperson. <laughs> it's a multi year, $100,000 contract. I'm not only a client, I'm the player president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this uh, operation, it only took me two days. I was literally under the knife for two days for this to happen. But I think it looks pretty realistic, don't you all? 
<laughs> it doesn't match, dude. It's two different yeah, colors. It matches. It's the same color. What no. are you talking about? <laughs> William, it's definitely two different colors. It's not two different colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely two different yeah. colors. It's not two different yeah, colors. Yeah, the beard and the eyebrows are the same color, but the hair on top, I think they accidentally did a different color or something. No, I think this was on purpose. I mean, it cost me 30 fucking thousand dollars for this operation. <laughs> it's the same haircut. It's the same color. Color. No. Yeah. Thank you. Ma- Matt Muling, who literally never says anything, just said <laughs> that it's cinnamon and honey mustard. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't spoken in seven months, this guy. He's making a real point to say Yo, cinnamon what? on the top and honey mustard at the bottom. I don't think that's very accurate. That's why you don't fucking ever talk and keep it <laughs> fucking that way. What the fuck are you talking about, dumbass? <laughs> Why the fuck would you say cinnamon and bread? What did you say? <laughs> cinnamon and honey mustard. That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> Stick to playing the fucking guitar, man. It doesn't look like fucking cinnamon and honey mustard. Why the fuck would you say that, dude? Oh, shit. William is mad about this. Uh, definitely. It's Dean Madness loves it. Thank you. Dean Madness is literally the only person in the room that thinks it's the same color. (laughs) This is absolutely incredible. It's definitely two different colors. I think it's the same color. I don't know why we keep talking about this. You have the hair of uh, Chucky from Child's Play at the top and fucking graham cracker cookie crust at the bottom. It's totally two different colors. It's not two different colors. Did, did they do? Let me. Can I just take a guess here? Yeah. That one. Sur- you said that it was a two-day procedure. Did one surgical team do the beard and eyebrows, and another one did the hair? It was two different surgical teams. <laughs> it really was. It's weird you just said that. Yeah, it was two teams. I mean, it was a forty-eight-hour surgery. And, wow. The first set of doctors get real tired. I mean, it's literally a 48-hour fucking ordeal. I was under for 48 hours. Well, from the looks of things, he was the fucking surgeon. (laughs) (laughs) Did you at any point wake up during the operation and see a man with glowing glasses over (laughs) you? Scalpel. Oh, my uh, goodness. William Montgomery. So what else has been going on in life? This Adidas tracksuit is legit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still, uh, Eric, you don't know this, but I'm actually Adidas' new sponsor as well. It's a multi-year $700,000 contract I signed with Adidas. They saw some of my old basketball videos. They liked what they saw. Uh, So now I'm pretty much a new person. I'm just wearing this. I'm wearing this fucking new Bosley uh, job, and it's hot as shit. It was a horrible mistake. My face fucking sweats 24-7 now. My face is sweating right now. I sort of see it. Yeah, you look wet. And they did mess up around the fucking mouth. The mouth, the hair should be closer to my mouth. It's a nightmare. I can't eat pizza anymore. I can't eat fucking... (laughs) Yeah, wait, let me see your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Why is that so fucking funny, you dumbasses? What the fuck? Because your lip looks like a nipple. (laughs) Look like an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you, have a, you have an innie now. <laughs> yeah. They, they, your mouth doesn't move at all. Say stuff. Hey, so it's very exciting to be here tonight. Um, I'm Bosley's new spokesperson. Wow. This is absolutely I incredible. can't eat spaghetti anymore. It's so weird. I can't eat fucking spaghetti anymore. That's my favorite food. I can't eat macaroni and cheese. What are you going to do? Are you happy with this? Are you going to ask for a little touch-up? What's the plan here exactly? I don't really know other than I have found out the executive's office, building, and number. I've started making some pipe bombs. I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm going to start sending some stuff in the mail to Mr. Bosley. <laughs> wow. Because I can't fucking live like this anymore. (laughs) Somebody's about to get some explosive mail. I'm going to fill them up with nails. Wow. Can you imagine the FBI when they fucking analyze that crime scene and they're like, well, there's a little honey mustard here. There's a little... (laughs) Little cinnamon. They found what can only be described as cinnamon hair. (laughs) 
Yeah, it was a horrible mistake. I mean, literally, now that I'm up here seeing everybody, hearing everybody laugh, it's, it's something I regret. I shouldn't have done it. I mean, I was literally under the knife for two fucking days. I almost didn't make it. Wow. Yeah, I almost died, Tony. I didn't tell anybody that. I literally almost died under the fucking thing. What they, were the complications? I fell out of the table. I fell off the table. <laughs> I was moving around a bunch in my sleep, and I... During a beard and hair operation. Beard and hair operation. I'm just trying to figure out what they're fucking talking about that's so fucking important right now. Uh, I'm having the set of my fucking life! What are y'all talking about? (laughs) Seriously, what are y'all talking about? What's going on, bitch? Looks like some old hag back there. What are you talking about, bitch? Shit. Raise your hand so people can see who you are. Raise your hand, bitch. Oh, shit. Ooh, look at that guy. (laughs) A little bit tougher than you thought he would be. I know. I was kidding, sir. (laughs) Wow. I didn't see you back there. I was totally kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's still under the medicine. You know what I mean? Uh, this has gone so good tonight. When you got the Bosley operation, did you imagine that your career was going to change <laughs> for, the, for the better? No, this is actually not how I imagined this was going to go. Mm. Um, I thought I was going to be able to come out here and parade around and be happy in front of all you people. But when I woke up, And I looked at myself in the mirror. I could tell it was a horrible mistake I had made. I mean, I quite frankly don't have $30,000 to be throwing around at beard and hair plugs. I mean, seriously, I don't have $30,000 fucking to be throwing around like that. Now I'm in debt. It's just a whole... So you literally dreamed about this? I literally dreamed about this. Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm... Sorry for disappointing all of y'all. I mean, it really, I thought I was, I was going to come up here, here and. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's pulling so hard. I can't believe you did it like that. You come ass, I thought we were friends. Come on, keep trying. Let's see if this. We're gonna keep you people here for hours. This is so selfish. Literally, he has no actual eyebrows anymore. How many, how many of you think you should pull the beer? By the way, Tony, yeah. uh, we didn't have like the stuff to stick it on him uh, earlier, so I gave him Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Wait a second. You no, Gorilla you Glue that? No, you didn't. No. I did. Oh, my God, no. No. <laughs> Dude, you fucking dumbass. No. Red Band has gotten his revenge. I got the one off. That just hurt. Why oh. would you do me like oh, this, dumbass? Oh. Ouch. Oh, there's a chunk missing for sure. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's the oh. same beard. Oh. I was fucking around. Now it you're, wasn't real. Now you're all cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> What about the top? Is that real too? Oh. oh. 
It was fake, too. In case you are curious, that was also fake. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. William Montgomery is on Cameo. He is headlining a show here tomorrow night. He's headlining his own shows now. Uh, check him out on Cameo. Get your birthday wishes. Have him yell at your uh, significant other for their whatever <laughs> celebration or anything at all. What else, cool. William? Uh, yeah. Find me on Cameo. Come to the fucking show tomorrow. I'm bringing 200 Xanax bars that I'm going to sell out front before the show. Catch William doing a very, very long set Thank tomorrow you. night here at Vulcan. There he goes. One of the best to ever do the damn thing. William Montgomery. This is the Big Red Machine, the Vanilla Gorilla, the one and only William Montgomery, everybody. Please keep it going for Yonder Wizard's impression of me. You better fucking stand. Right over there. That's no, but seriously, we got to put your phone in this bag. Wow. That is incredible. That is incredible. That is one of the best goddamn impressions I've ever heard in my life. What the fuck was that? I lost my Adidas sponsorship, so I went ahead and got a job. I'm now a sexual preference abbreviation developer. I came up with WG this past week, which stands for Wiener Grabber. So now the proper sexual preference abbreviation list is LGBTWG. Red Band Mama's so fat, instead of LGBT, she TCBY. You know that bitch fat. <laughs> but seriously, have y'all been to TCBY recently? When did the yogurt get so C-O-L-D? <laughs> okay, I wanted to spell something else out. Uh, it's that time of the year again. It's Shark Week. Best week of the year for television. I mean, you've got boats, sunburns, tight bathing suits, shirtless cameramen. You've got sandbars, razor burn, pina coladas, late night hotspots in Miami. And how could I forget missed flights, problems at home, Olive Garden, wife and kids are gone. <laughs> I actually have a confession. I was at Shark Week last year. Uh, I don't recommend anybody going. Okay, I thought the Shark Week thing was going to go better. I was <laughs> horrified when I was only hearing silence up here. Wasn't that kind of funny? I was just trying to pretend like my life fell apart during Shark Week. I didn't really get that across. <laughs> didn't really get that across. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Thank Ooh, you. William Montgomery, the Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine. Wow. William, welcome back. Good to see you. So nice to be here. Good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. This is actually really awkward. People don't know this, but Theo and I made a $20,000 bet on the NBA championship this past year. I said Boston was going to win. He said Golden State was going to win. So, Theo, I swear to God, I'm going to get you your $20,000 soon. Okay. Like, sure. this is so awkward. Yeah. I swear, man. I swear to God, I'm going to get you that 20 k Okay. Uh, I mean, I wasn't going to say, you know, all right. Okay, I mean, I swear to God. I mean, up to this point, I apologize. I haven't given you your 20000 yet, but I swear to God, Theo, I'm going to get it to you. I will, honestly, man, I will let you keep the money if you don't talk to me about it anymore. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not even joking. Yeah, I've been blowing up Theo's phone. He gave me his phone number a couple weeks ago. I call him every day, and I guess you're not around your phone a lot, or what's going on? You don't really... <laughs> You haven't really been responding recently. I don't want you. <laughs> well, this is kind of awkward. I didn't think you were going to respond in that way. Okay, well, good to know. Well, I won't bring it up, and I won't pay you the 20 k Thank you. Cool, you're welcome. Very exciting stuff, William. Uh, the hair is growing back. You famously, your parents were in town about a month ago. They forced you to get a haircut. Now it's growing back. You're sort of back to looking like the bad guy from Billy Madison. So, 
It's very exciting stuff. Do I look like that guy? I'm trying to picture what yeah. he looks like. Yeah, he looks like you, but you have a beard. Yeah, you look okay. like Louis C O K E. Louis Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I didn't think that was funny, and I was scared to even say it. <laughs> I think last time I met you, Theo, uh, at the comedy store, I was very high on cocaine, and I think I scared you, so it's interesting to see you again. And I, I, I honestly, I do remember that. <laughs> One of the many people that William perhaps burnt a bridge with back in his days of, uh, of intoxication. But now you're sober, William. How's that been going for you lately? It's boring as shit. <laughs> How's the Crock-Pot been treating you? Crock-Pot's been good. I discovered something else. Yeah. Did you laugh at that? <laughs> Why'd you laugh at that? I've been there, man. It's nice. It's like having somebody there when you get back, you know? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is. That's one of the reasons I have it going 24-7. Oh, damn, bro. Wow. I think you're supposed to undo one at some point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been going 24-7 for like two months now. Wow. That's a space heater, I think. <laughs> it might be a space heater. Yeah, I don't know where to put the food. It's, yeah. William, <laughs> earlier we had the great Yonder Wizard on the stage where he debuted a brand new impression of you that was completely spot on. How did that make you feel? Oh, man. I mean, I was sitting up in the green room doing whippets with Hans, and then I'm like, then I'm like, Hans, is fucking Yonder Wizard doing a fucking impression of me? And Hans said yes, and I don't know. I mean, I pretty much, when I heard it, I started clinching my gun. I brought my gun with me tonight. Oh, wow. Started clinching my gun, started putting my finger on the trigger. I don't know if y'all have a gun or not, but it is just so exciting just putting your fucking finger on the trigger and just seeing how much you can pull it before the bullet comes out. Ooh. So I was doing that up there. Yeah, I can get pretty close to when I know the bullet's going to come out, and then I just kind of lay off the trigger a little bit. But yeah, I've gotten really good at just having the gun in my pocket, and I'll start getting mad, and I'll start pulling that trigger, and then while I'll be able to stop. While it's against your leg. Yes. Wow. That's very interesting. But it has obviously gone off before. Yes. Right. And last we'll, Easter. Yeah? What happened last Easter? Fucking shot my... Dude, shut the fuck up! You're throwing me off! I'm trying to fucking tell stories up here and I see some dumbass down there just fucking... It's actually my cousin Taylor. Everybody give it up for my cousin Taylor! It's from the Hispanic side of the family in case anybody was curious... Oh, you're German. Yes, the old German, German side of the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Uh, How'd you lose your Adia sponsorship? Uh, they brought up some videos of Of you me. doing any of your sets here <laughs> on the show? Yeah, I've always wondered that. If somebody ever wants to cancel my ass, they yeah. don't have to dig very far. No, no, none. They don't need to do that for any of us. Um... <laughs> That is absolutely true. You know what I think might be a fun way to end tonight's episode is by doing something we've never done before. What's that? I think we should bring Yonder back up here. And and I think you and Yonder should have an argument to end tonight's episode. I want to okay. hear what this sounds like. Yeah. Maybe we, could, maybe we could shut all the lights off and we have to guess which one's which. No, we can't shut the lights off. Red Band says he's in charge of the video of the podcast. So, oh, we could do it with D Madness. All right, that's a great idea, actually. I love this. Yonder, get up here. Here's the great Yonder Wizard from earlier. Yonder, grab that microphone right there in that stand. Oh, grab this one. Come over here. Come over here. All right, now. We're going to have one of you guys complain, and then we're going to have D Madness guess which one uh, that was. This is the first time we've tried this in the history of the show. It's called Fool the D. It's a new segment that I just came up with right now called Fool the D. All right. Here's one of the Williams yelling. 
Where the fuck were you last Easter? You know where the fuck I was. No, seriously, where the fuck were you last Easter when I shot myself in the fucking leg? I was doing cocaine at the Chuck E. Cheese. You were doing cocaine at the Chuck E. Cheese? Yup. I don't go to Chuck E. Cheese anymore. No, but seriously, I was at the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Where were you? But seriously, I do go to Chuck E. Cheese all the time. I love Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know if y'all ever do cocaine at Chuck E. Cheese, but it is such a fucking blast. Yeah, seriously. Doing cocaine in that fucking Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, seriously. I mean, doing fucking cocaine in the Chuck E. Cheese bathroom, there's nothing better. Yup. <laughs> Have you ever done fucking cocaine in the Chuck E. Cheese bathroom before? No, but seriously, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's actually really cool doing cocaine in the Chuck E. Cheese bathroom. Not a lot of people know that, but it's pretty easy to do it in the Chuck E. Cheese bathroom. There are kids everywhere. Nobody's expecting it. Yeah, you can get away with whatever the fuck you want, really. Whatever the fuck you want to get away with, you can get away with it at Chuck E. Cheese. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Anything you want to do with the fucking Chuck E. Cheese, you can pretty much get away with it. I'm dizzy. That made me dizzy. Yeah, I'm feeling a little weak. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling kind of weird right now. Wow. No, but seriously, <laughs> do you guys have any ibuprofen? Yeah, does anybody have any ibuprofen? I really need it. I'm legitimately fucking dizzy up here right now. I'm fucking about to lose my lunch up here. Well, I thought that was going to be funnier. Losing my lunch, isn't that a vomit reference? Okay. okay. Why the I... fuck aren't you laughing yeah, at what that? What the fuck? That's a vomit reference. We're talking about puke. Yeah, we're talking about, we're talking about vomit here. I don't know fucking Theo Vaughn $20,000 anymore. Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, I'm so sorry, Theo! I'm gonna ask for my fucking money back. Start answering my calls again! No, but seriously, I don't owe you that money, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. That's another appearance by Yonder Wizard and the great William Montgomery. Oh, William. Word to the wise, don't have sex with Miss Amy O unless you're prepared to get bombarded by text messages. You know, there are oh, better ways right. than sex when you're my age, trust me. There are better things than sex because masturbation to me is the best, most intimate thing a person can learn how to do. It's a favor to your best companion because uh, it's not always their job to make you come. You should take that job yourself. This is an impression of me dragging my agent into my apartment to hear me pitch ideas. Okay, it's an animated version of Shark Tank. Hear me out. <laughs> Red Band kind of liked it. Okay. Nancy Pelosi is currently flying to Taiwan despite threats China will shoot her plane down. In related news, Nancy Pelosi's husband just bought a bunch of stock in a body bag company. <laughs> this is an impression of me dragging my agent into my apartment to hear me pitch ideas. Okay, it's a reality show where I deliver babies. Hear me out. <laughs> Religious scholars have long dispelled conspiracy theories that Jesus Christ had a brother. However, archaeologists recently dug up evidence that God may have had a second son, that Jesus may have had a twin named Aphex. <laughs> this is an impression of me dragging my agent into my apartment to hear me pitch ideas. I come out as QAnon to my family. Hear me out. 
Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Thank oh, you. William Thank you. Montgomery. At it again. Showing everybody exactly how it's done, debuting a new Aphex twin joke here. I know. Did you know that's how that one was going to end up? No. I never saw that coming. I know. I tried to put some misdirection in there so you wouldn't know because I know how much you dislike the Aphex twin jokes. Well, I think you dislike the Aphex twin jokes because you don't do any when you're not on Kill Tony. I know. I don't know why that is. (laughs) It's because maybe they don't work as well as all your other jokes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because I think you would do them if they did. Yeah, well, I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress, Tony. <laughs> Indeed. Annie, uh, hold on, Annie, aren't you into QAnon? I am, yes, yes. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, what? Your, where's the fat slob I miss? Where's that fat I know, shit, you that saw me. That up, wasted, fat fucking slob. Is that really what you would say? Yes, yeah. you fat, <laughs> fucking disgusting pig, just blacked out, saying nonsense. You A were. disgusting pig, that's how you would have described me? 100%. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really remember that. Um, I don't know, I've tried to steer, steer clear of it. I was, my limbs were starting to go numb, Annie, uh, when I would just be standing up or sitting down and it scared me. I think I was about to have a heart attack, so I had to stop doing cocaine. You chose life, you chose life. I you chose look, you life. You look great. Well, thank you. What's up, buddy? I love it. William, what else has been going on this week? Well, I didn't want to tell anybody this, but I was at a Target by my house uh, this past Wednesday and I got the itch again and I started following people. Uh, started following people who were leaving the Target. I was trying to see if they had expensive items and I would find those people with the expensive items and I would get out of my car and I would literally smash these people over the head with a little baseball bat I've been carrying around. And taking their items. So I've actually been doing a bunch of cardio work this week. I was doing a lot of uh, running. Do you ever do that, Annie? Do you ever hit people on the top of the head and steal their shit? Yeah. What are some of the things that you stole from people this week at Target? Stole a box fan. uh, (laughs) Super expensive box fan. Stole uh, somebody had a bunch of M&Ms on them. Took the M&Ms. Somebody had a bunch of Skittles. I took a bunch of Skittles. Somebody had... uh, where am I going with this? Oh, my goodness. Say the N-word quick. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, William, tell us something else that is happening in life other than um, beating people over the head at side of targets. Other than that, I have started to buy Adderall from Miss Amy O. Literally, Miss Amy O, I'm sorry. She has a really great prescription. I've started buying Adderall from her. So I spent the past two days cleaning up my apartment real good. My apartment is totally clean, and I was playing a bunch of Call of Duty the past two days. Right. Um. (laughs) So nothing too exciting. That's literally what I've been doing the past two days, cleaning my fucking apartment and playing Call of Duty. Yeah, that's it. Jesus. Uh, (laughs) Speaking of duty, um, you famously got sober uh, a year and a half ago and bought eight crock pot and that has changed your life have you been making anything in your crock pot this week that the audience might be entertained by yeah if people if you have a crock pot at home put a couple of the big cans of spaghettios in there uh (laughs) get a couple of hot dogs chop the hot dogs up really nice and fine uh put them on top of that add some beans i've been adding some maple glaze baked beans to the mixture Uh, I've been adding some spinach leaves. I've been adding a lot of Parmesan. uh, Boxes of macaroni and cheese. I've been adding them. I've been adding bananas, which is so weird. A lot of people think it's weird putting bananas in the crock pot, but it actually makes the mixture very sweet. Wow. Very interesting. I know. It's been fun. Red Band wants the fucking... Why are you looking over there like that, Red Band? I didn't tell a fucking joke about you tonight. Why are you giving me that fucking oh, attitude? Oh, no. I, 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 I have the same recipe, but I add a little sh- uh, uh, Sour Patch Kids to the crock pot at the... Uh, yeah, at the that beginning. sounds like what a faggot would do. Oh, <laughs> God. Holy shit. Holy shit. God. 
Thank you, William. <laughs> I completely agree. So, how about the gun? Where, where are your unlicensed guns at? So I have two of them in the trunk of my Volvo right now. In case anybody wants to see them after the show, I will be charging people $5 to hold my gun with me in a picture. If anybody wants to meet me out back after the show, I brought two of my fucking guns here tonight in my fucking trunk. And nobody's going to tell me they don't belong there. Nobody's going to tell me that I'm not allowed to have guns just because I'm a felon. I swear to God, Obama's not going to fucking tell me I can't have my guns just because I'm a fucking felon. What did you do? What I do? Why are you a felon? They actually caught me a couple years ago at a Kmart. I was hitting people over the head with a little baseball bat. Yeah, it was horrible. It was a long, drawn-out trial. I got 15 years, but I got out in two for good behavior. So. Wow, okay. Good behavior. But you stopped your actions at Kmart, moved over to Target. Correct. I, I, there's a better clientele, and also Kmart's closed now, sadly. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kmart's sadly closed. I, did y'all know that? Did y'all know Kmart's closed now? Seriously, did y'all even know Kmart's not even around anymore? Have y'all noticed that? Have you noticed that, Tony? Have you noticed that, Andy? Kmart's not even around anymore. Have y'all even noticed that? Have y'all looked up fucking Kmart on Google recently? Nothing comes up. Kmart's fucking closed, and I had a bunch of fucking stock in Kmart, and now it's worth nothing. That's one of the reasons I got the fucking guns. I was like, this is a sign of the apocalypse. My fucking Kmart stock. I had 200,000 fucking dollars in Kmart stock. It's now worth shit. Does that make you mad? <laughs> yeah, it fucking pisses me off. I literally, my grandfather died. I got 200 fucking thousand dollars. I thought it would be a good idea Put it all in the stock market. My brother Vance was like, William, put the money in the stock market. I was like, okay, Vance, what do I put it in? He's like, put it in Kmart. And I fucking listened to him. Even though I had done a little research and I knew Kmart wasn't doing good, but my fucking brother was like, just put all the money in Kmart. And I fucking did that. Now it's all, all gone, Tony. That's why I've been trying to get these sponsorships. But actually, uh, I, I got a pair of Chiso's Cowboy Boots in his will here tonight. The owner of Chiso's Cowboy. Are you here tonight? Will? Will, let me be the new spokesperson oh. for Chiso's. That's why I fucking brought you here tonight. I thought wow. I could fucking get corner you. Are those the boots that you got? These are the boots. There's nothing better than Chiso's brand. They actually use... Uh, <laughs> A very nice calf skin on the boots, and my God, I don't know if you, I've ever felt a harder bottom of a boot before. <laughs> Isn't that what you told me to say, Well, <laughs> I've never experienced a harder bottom of a boot. Wow. Will, uh, just think about it, okay, man? Damn. I need this. All my other sponsors are fucking leaving me. Oh, I'm wow, too... look, he's asking questions. The owner of Chiso's Boots <laughs> has now taken over the hosting duties for the night. He asked, what, what was your question? What guns you got in your trunk? What types of guns do you have in your trunk? I have a Beretta X9 and a Sig Sauer P30. Those are two made-up names. Uh, well, I'm actually lying. I don't have two guns. In my th I hope this doesn't mess up me being the new spokesperson. I don't actually have guns in my fucking is there trunk. Really, is that a real thing, Chisos boots? Where's that located? Yeah, they're great here, here in pull Austin, up, pull Texas. Pull up your pant leg. Let's see what these things have. They look like rain boots. <laughs> my fucking legs are purple. Okay. Y'all want a pair of Chisos boots? Go to Chisos.com! Nothing better. The fucking bottoms of them are like fucking petrified wood. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Will, is that good or not? They're like petrified wood. Wow. Still working on it. Sorry. Sorry, Will. I feel like I've done more harm than good tonight. Where's Chiso Sabutes located? Here in Austin. I can't remember the oh, exact address. Very good. Address, very yeah, good. here in what, Austin. What a great plug, William. 
<laughs> uh, Will doesn't even want his boot co- place promoted on this show. I, now I'm looking back at him. He's completely embarrassed. Uh, did he give you a deal on the boots for putting him on the guest list tonight? What type of shit's going on here? He actually didn't, so we're going to have to talk about that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. He gave me a T-shirt and some leather balm, oh. which was very sweet. Wow. Oh. Wow. Okay, I feel like this hasn't gone how I was expecting it tonight. I was yeah. thinking those first jokes about my impression of my agent, which I don't even have. I thought those would be hilarious. And I was obviously wrong about that. And now I'm wondering about what's going on up here. And Dear God, Annie, I promise you normally it's better than this. Annie, I promise you, I recently got into mermaiding. If you ever laid eggs in a bathtub, would you let me pee on them? Yeah. You would? Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. I have eggs. I That's have eggs. how mermaids are made. That's how they're made. You have fish eggs in a bathtub, and then you TT on top of them. <laughs> That's how mermaids are born, in case you were curious. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever think about um, drinking again when you're up here? <laughs> yes, yeah, some. Seriously, like, are you ever like, this didn't go well, it's probably because I'm not drunk? Who? What little fucking bitch ass voice just said yeah? What little voice said that? Yeah, I was oh, actually sorry. talking to William, so shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I think about it some. I don't think I will, just don't because I it. think I would immediately probably die. I think don't I'd immediately it. jump off a bridge or something. Really? Why do you think that? I don't know. I think I'd get real down again, and I think I'd probably find a tall building and jump off of it. So I don't think I'm going to uh, to do it again, even though I want to. So I'm just smoking a bunch of weed now. So it's been fine. Like yeah, let's give it up for marijuana. There you go. You got the crowd back on your side. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes oxygen? Yeah. <laughs> Who likes plants? <laughs> oh, there it goes again. Wow. <laughs> Make some noise for the great and powerful William oh, Montgomery, okay. ladies and gentlemen. He did it. Catch him on Cameo in his own show, The William Montgomery.